Hey guys, it's me, Lainey Holland, and welcome to Crafts with Lainey. And if you guys are wondering where Addie is, well, she has her own show. Hers is a cooking show, which we will begin later. But, yeah, this is the craft show. Um, so, today we're going to be making an American Girl Doll sized jewelry box. So, let's get started. First, here are the materials that you'll need. You'll need either a soft container or a baby food container, just something that has that kind of shape. Make sure that it can stand up on its own with the lid on, like this. You'll need paper, any color that you want, a pencil or a pen or a marker, some tape, a toothpick, scissors, and um, a marker or a colored pencil or something. So, let's get started. First, what you'll do is take your sauce container or baby food container and trace the lid onto your paper. So we're going to do that real quick. Okay, so we took the shape of it by tracing it. Then you just simply cut it out. Try to be as precise as possible. It's okay if it doesn't come out perfect. Okay. So, after you cut out your um, shape, <laughs> you uh, draw like little um, jewelry box drawers or something, little cabinets and stuff, and all that. I'm gonna make mine kind of something like this. I'm gonna draw a line down the middle, and then I'm gonna draw like a T kind of. Actually, no, I don't wanna put that in half, I want three drawers. Now, it doesn't matter how crazy and funky your designs are, because um, unless you really want to, we're not even going to be making little areas in there. So I'm going to draw a little handle. This one kind of looks like my old jewelry box until it broke. Okay. So, yeah. So, take off the lid and kind of make sure that it all fits and everything and all that. Okay, so it does. And now take your marker or your pen or whatever you have. Get a hard surface drawn. If you have carpet, but if you have hard hardwood floor, then this really doesn't apply to you. And then make this as neat as possible and trace it. It can be any color that you want. It doesn't have to be black. And the paper can be any color that you want, too. I recommend that you use markers, not pens. Just for neatness. Okay, kind of let that dry for a little bit. And while you're letting that dry a little bit, even though we're not painting it because we need it to be perfect, take your toothpick and um, if there's like a sharp, like another sharp edge at the bottom, cut it off. And if there's like this colorful stuff, that off. And I'm going to throw that away later. You can do whatever you want at the end, but we're not going to use that for the craft. And then poke it in the side of your container. Okay, so this doesn't work very well. If you need to, you can poke a hole in it with like a pen or something first. Man, this is hard. Oh, fudge. Okay, so if it breaks like mine just did, you can just tape it in there. Hmm, that's sad. I just broke it. Okay. So now I'm just going to tape it in and everything. That was really scary and sad. I don't like the fact that that just happened. 
Okay, so I'm just going to put tape over the hole and then jab the toothpick back in there. And make sure that you're putting the sharp part inside. Kind of like that. Okay, so how you fix it, you take a piece of tape, cover it, and then you can poke the hole again. Because, ugh, that didn't work because I didn't actually cover the hole. How smart am I? I didn't actually cover the hole. Okay. Make sure that you're holding the tape, but not where the toothpick's about to poke. Otherwise, the tape will just come off and it won't work. Like mine, it's giving me difficulties because it does not like me. It said, I do not like you, and I say, well, I don't like it either. Okay, so that's perfect. I got it in there, and that's optional. That's where you can, like, hang stuff off of it. And then tape up the two top corners or the two side corners, whatever. It's whatever you want to do. Just tape it on there, but don't tape it all the way on there because you want it to open so you can actually put jewelry in there. But the cabinets aren't going to really matter. It just makes it look cuter. Like a jewelry box. So. I think I'm going to put it on the two sides. I don't know why, I just want to. Okay. So now it opens like this. And it's like a real jewelry box. Except I forgot to tape it to the lid because I'm not very smart. <laughs> so I need to do that. And make sure that I'm doing this right. Even though I'm not blonde, I have a lot of blonde moments. I have a bunch of brunette moments. Okay, then, actually wait, if you have a lid to it, then you can go ahead and tape it completely on to your jewelry box. But only if you have a lid. If not, then you just kind of have to do what I just did. I told you, I have a lot of blonde moments. Okay, then put the lid on there, and there you go. Little Bell's Jewelry Box. I hope you all enjoyed this craft, and I hope you enjoy making it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Tune in next week, or whenever we feel like doing the show. And next week, we will be making these glasses. Thanks for watching. Bye.